Hey guys, welcome back. So, I have a little update tonight that I wanted to share with you. Um, if you watch my Instagram stories at all, you may have seen me working on this. No, no, no. Uh, what is it? It's a dual sprayer for my silvering chemicals. Now, you may be asking, Gordon, why do you need a dual sprayer? Don't you already know how to do this? Yes, but I'm going to get into that in a second. So, I don't know if you can see this little handle. Probably doesn't make much sense, but here is a version that's all assembled. I have, this is my beta version, and this is kind of like the first. Uh, they both work. This one worked as well, but I made some adjustments, and here's version number two, which also will have a few adjustments. But you can see it takes uh, just off-the-shelf little spray bottles. I got these two at Sally Beauty Supply. I believe they're about three dollars a piece. I'm going to look online and see if I can find a site that sells these type of bottles. So if you want to make one of these, you can just buy the bottles. I will be posting these files tonight so you can have them for free if you want. They'll be on my Thingiverse page. I'll put a link below. But no, I will be making some alterations to a few pieces of trigger and maybe this little pull rod. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, here's how it's set up. So basically you got your handle, a little trigger, and... It sprays both the bottles at the same time. And it does it wonderfully. I've angled the bottles together a little bit so that the spray combines in the air. And when you're working on something small, like this, like a little Terminator skull, um, this is great because my regular sprayer, it's this one, the Pache giant silvering gun that I have, sprays way too much chemical for... Uh, like some little stuff like this. So if I'm spraying C-3PO's torso or a helmet or legs or something, this works great. But for something small like this, or maybe a set of C-3PO hands or even like a, an Indiana Jones idol, small things, this is complete overkill. Now, if you watch my old videos, you may have seen in the past, I used this gun. This worked pretty well when it worked right, but, the problem with this is that the chemicals combine inside the tip here. And because they're doing that, they start to, uh, I don't know the word, they kind of, I guess, like develop, where, uh, like developing film or something, where it, the metal starts to come out of the material, out of the carrier liquid, and it forms a layer on the inside. And after a little while, this stops spraying. So this works for 15, 20 minutes, and then all of a sudden I start having trouble spraying it which is not good when I'm in the middle of a project. So, uh, just this week, this is kind of why I did this. This is a moment of necessity. This week I was trying to spray something, and this gun kept messing up, and I was not getting done what I needed to get done. So, hence this thing. Now, this is similar to this in, reg in regard to the fact that the chemicals mix outside of the sprayer, which means that uh, the actual... Spray nozzles will require much less cleaning and maintenance, which is good. Um, yeah, but anyway, I modeled this whole thing in Fusion 360. And let's go take a look at those files now. Here is our 3D model of the sprayer. Um, one of the first things I did in order to make this was to model the actual bottle. And I turned this into a component over here. You can see it says spray bottle. So I could turn those off. We can look at the, at the rig, and let's look at the different pieces here. Let's turn off the sketches. So we've got all these bodies. These are the, the little pins that hold it together, which, again, I need to make adjustments on. I will upload all of them as, uh, as they are, but just know that they will need some adjusting. So the basic components look like this. We have the uh, the holder, which is what holds the bottles, and the bottles pop in. They pop through the top there. They're really uh, snug fit, but they do fit through. And they're going to pop through, and uh, everything holds together nicely. These kind of hug the bottles, so you don't need to have any straps around or anything else. Um, and let's see, we have the handle, which is here, and you can see it slides in the bottom. So there's a Kind of like a groove slot so this prints is one piece and you see the um i guess like the key that slips into there 
that all goes together and then we have the top piece which goes across this pins together and there's a little channel here that is going to hold the puller bar which goes through you see that this is what's going to pull the triggers on the bottles and then we have the trigger and that all goes together pretty straightforward and then the little pins pop in place and hold everything together uh, you could if you so desired glue this all together and just maybe put some screws in or pins through the trigger just to hold that so it moves but um, this whole piece could be glued if you wanted to I like the idea of having it modular because if this angle changes and this piece needs to be reprinted you don't have to reprint the whole gun but uh, anyway this is a quick look so that's basically how the model is set up all done in fusion 360 pretty straightforward um, like i said i'm going to upload these files right now and i'll stick a link down below um, i will be adjusting the pins as you can see they're not in all the way i did something wrong and i have to make an adjustment so that they'll fit properly um and i am going to adjust the trigger just a little bit because the first version was too far back so i fixed this one and it's a little too far forward so i have to kind of hit that goldilocks zone just a, like five degrees slower bend and it's going to be perfect um so that's coming up but if you're in a hurry and you want to make one of these sooner feel free to go ahead and print this all of these pieces are modular so you can basically take this apart and swap pieces so if i come up with some kind of improvement and i upload the top piece or a new trigger or a new handle you can just print that one part and swap it without reprinting the entire device which could be pretty handy um like i said i'm gonna go ahead and upload this now i'll put a link below on monday or tuesday sometime early next week i will put together a video of the assembly in case you're having problems but i will also include the full 3d model as one piece for reference so that if you print the parts you can go and uh, look at the full model and see how it actually goes together so anyway for you guys might like this um, i'll try to get some video of it in use but it works awesome so pretty excited uh but anyway thanks for stopping by hope these files work for some of you and um, if they do, let me know. And if you have got questions or comments, obviously leave them below. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.